Hi, I'm Joshua Ott with Case Lock Incorporated. In the first video of this series, I discussed lack of smooth pursuit. In this video, I'm going to be discussing distinct and sustained nystagmus at maximum deviation, which is the second clue that officers check for during horizontal gaze nystagmus. To properly check for this, officers start with the person's left eye. They move their stimulus to a point at which there is no white left in the corner of the person's eye, which is called maximum deviation. They're required to hold their stimulus at maximum deviation for a minimum of four seconds. They then move the stimulus all the way to the maximum deviation of the person's right eye and again hold for a minimum of four seconds. They then do one more pass for each eye so that they have checked each eye a total of two times. It is extremely important that officers do this correctly for two reasons. Number one, if it's not done correctly, it compromises the validity of the test. The second reason is there is a naturally occurring nystagmus called endpoint nystagmus. This nystagmus is visible for a couple of seconds, but will go away shortly thereafter. By holding the stimulus for a minimum of four seconds at maximum deviation, the officer is ensuring that they are observing distinct and sustained nystagmus at maximum deviation, which is caused by alcohol and certain other drugs, and not the naturally occurring nystagmus of endpoint nystagmus. If you have any additional questions or would like more information, please go to my website, caselockinc.com, or feel free to email me at caselockinc at gmail.com.